Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn what is passed by value and what is passed by reference. So first, let's see what is passed by value. I'll create a function, name it case one, and this function will accept an argument which is of the type int and store it inside the variable number. I'll increment the number by two by saying number is equal to number plus two, and then I'll just simply print out number. and the address of number just to add we'll say in case 1 value is and number and i'll say in case 1 address is and percent number so this part is clear now i'll create a variable number and assign the value 20 it call case one and pass number as an argument and now i'll print the number inside main after case one because case one has been called in main we have number and before that i'll simply print the address of number so i'll say address of number in main m percent number okay i hope this part is clear so we should <coughs> what output should we get we are passing the number 20 and this number is incremented by 2 and then we say print number so should we get 22 let's see i'll run this code and we get the output that in case the value is 22 but after case in main the value is 20 now why is that because what we are doing is we are passing the value of this number in this function we should always remember that functions with arguments always create a copy of the value of the variable that is passed so when we are passing this variable number here we get the copy of the value that is 20 so 20 is copied in this variable these two variables are different as we can see they have different addresses in case one we have this address and in main we have this address these two are different addresses so these two are different variables and they have different scope and that's why i am able to create a variable with the same name because this variable is scoped till here within main and this variable has the scope inside case one so what is happening is that this 20 is been passed here this number variable now holds 20 so when i say number is equal to number it will replace uh, or it will put the value 20 here and add 2 to it so the New value of this number variable is twenty two, but this number variable is inside case one. So whenever I print this out, I get the value twenty two. But the original variable has not been changed because we are only passing a copy of it. So this is passed by value. Let's see passed by reference. Even in this, I'll say from case two, and uh, I'll just pass. the argument variable as number but this time the type is pointer to an integer now i cannot say number is equal to number plus 2 because now number variable holds a pointer and i cannot say that a pointer plus 2 a pointer plus integer so i get i can i get an error message by the text editor cannot convert to and type in constant to int pointer so what i have to do is i have to say that the value of this variable would be the value plus 2 so basically i have to dereference it value plus value which means that if i pass the original number i get the value is 20 plus 2 and that would be the new value and then i'll do the same which i did over here i'll print the address and the value but in case two no. so that would be the only difference and after this i'll again go in main and call case 2 so i'll just copy this 
just change case one to case two and also one more thing i cannot pass the integer number now i'll tell you about it let me change this to okay so now the case two accepts a pointer and i have to pass a pointer to it which is basically the address of a variable that holds an integer because it is asterisk int so what i have to do is simply pass m percent number because m percent number is a point uh, is a memory address to a variable that holds an integer so basically the type of m percent number is asterisk int so this is acceptable and now i say the address of number in main now i don't need this because this will be the same in this case so i can keep it general about this so the next thing is i'll say after case 2 in main the value of number now we'll see a change the same thing is happening but there is a slight difference now when we pass this pointer the way, uh, the case 2 function will copy the value of this obviously now but the value of this is an address so what it does is copies the address of it in its number variable and now when i say the value of it so it will do the dereferencing of that so i'll actually go the go, go to the original memory location of my variable number which is over here so if i say the value of number i this will be the memory location of my variable that has been passed here so this would be the value of this number so basically this would be a memory location and this would be the same location of this variable and the changes are happening inside memory you remember in our diagram we had the memory column so this address is pointing towards that memory and we have making we are making the changes directly in memory so the changes reflect when i print number let's just see if it happens so here we go after case 2 in main we get 22 because in case 2 the value is this and the address is this because we create we always create a copy so address of the case 2 variable would be different but the value of the case 2 variable is the address of main uh, is the address of the main variable <coughs> so let's see the address of number in main and this matches as we can see over here so what i'm doing is i'm changing the value inside this address and hence when i call this number after after calling the function i see the changes reflect this is passing by reference i hope you all have understood about pass by value and pass by reference this will be all for this video thank you for watching